Yo, what's up? It's the second week of 2024. It's your boy Cash, and we're bringing you, well, not we, but I'm bringing you a new YouTube video today. And I want to talk about what I've been discovering in my journal that's been keeping me definitely locked in and focused for this year and everything that's on the way. So let's dive straight into this so we both can unpack and learn more about ourselves as we go on this discovery together through this journal. So this journal came in maybe about a week ago. Um, this is a mind journal. To give you a brief synopsis of the intentions behind this is, this is the ultimate tool for a happier, healthier you. The mind journal is the groundbreaking journal system that helps you transform your life, achieve your goals, and become the best version of yourself. So uh, this isn't sponsored or anything. It's something that I just wanted to do for myself. Really just see how this is gonna apply to my 2024, honestly. So let's uh, talk about this. Some, uh, some of the key takeaways. It's funny, the first page says this journal is private and literally I'm like sharing things with you guys right now. I'm sure we all can relate and feel this sentiment here that on page one, it starts off saying you're about to embark on an incredible journey and even though the road might get rocky and rough let me put my computer on do not disturb dnd focus mode uh work and no siri i'm not talking to you okay <laughs> that's funny uh yeah let's repeat this again from the top on the first page of the journal, as soon as you open it, you dive in and it says you're about to embark on an incredible journey. And even though the road might get rocky and rough, the view at the end will be worth it. I knew immediately once I purchased this journal, I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely for me. Like I'm locked in. This is my life story for sure. Through the highs, the lows, the, uh, <laughs> the highlights and of course the unfortunate circumstances that we really don't share online um, just because they're more um, sacred spaces in our lives. Yeah, I was like, you know, this, this journal here is gonna be good for me. Definitely starting off to a hot take, um, to a hot statement to initiate the fire within. And also it just feels good to know that, you know, I'm part of a global community of other people who have decided to purchase this journal and see how it's going to transform their lives as well. So uh, I think as men or just really anybody in general who needs to get back into writing, the only reason why I preference men, because I don't think that's something we do to make time or space for. Uh, so I definitely would encourage men to like take advantage of this, honestly. Uh, one other thing I would say about journaling, the benefit for sure is that you have this dedicated time in your life to check in with yourself and not necessarily be so dependent on spouses or friends or significant others to be that um, to be that talking point or the person that you vent information to and sometimes that information might be overwhelming to them it's another way to go inside and internalize and reflect with the things that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis um, it's interesting because when i was doing my meditations that's like that was definitely like a sacred space where i had time to reflect but now i'm taking my meditations and writing out in my journal to have like a physical and tangible item where I can go back and reflect over my statements and comments and see where I, my uh, perspective has been throughout the weeks and over the years. It's another reason why you should start journaling and just watch how it evolves you as an individual in this society. Let's talk about this right here. Your health and happiness are the most important things. Don't, let's start that over. That's gonna be annoying. Your health and happiness are the most important things. Don't let anything stand in their way. I've definitely learned that lesson. Uh, I really don't wanna like dive in too deep on that, but for those who know, if you know, you know. Um, yeah, health is definitely on the top of my priority list. Mentally, physically, spiritually. And I'm definitely prioritizing that and have been doing so ever since I've found my consistent routine that makes me feel alive so i encourage everyone to do the same if you haven't done so already 
because when you're in a optimal state, I mean, everyone around you is just going to benefit from that energy that you're putting out. So take advantage and go ahead and exude that healthiness that you're experiencing because it could definitely rub off onto someone else. So yeah, let's keep that going. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see this here. I've definitely been taking advantage of writing some things out in the journal and just reflecting on some of the moods that I felt this past week. I put uh, determined, eager, grateful, strong, and neutral. So like really indifferent to a lot of things. And as I reflect on this past week, the, those emotions were definitely true. Uh, I put some of my intentions and achievements like my weekly intention was to teach yoga, meditate, study my Spanish, definitely accomplish all of that and continuing to move forward. We're uh, staying consistent with those practices on a daily basis, which isn't easy. As I stated, I believe in one of my previous videos that discipline is really the essential uh, word for this year. I just feel like in my life, like nothing else is gonna thrive without me being disciplined. The journal made me write out things that I've been grateful for. And for sure, I wrote grateful for my mom. She's been my foundation through everything. Um, grateful for my relationship with God. And grateful for my new found mindset. Yeah, those are three things that I probably would never change because it's just so consistent with who I've been throughout these years and I'm sure like you know if you're watching this on YouTube it's like it's kind of hard for you to, to understand why I say over the years when it's only been like maybe one or two years of me actually doing YouTube despite like the inconsistencies but like my peer group and my circle of friends and the people that see me on a day-to-day -day aspect I know they resonate with those statements because I just try to keep myself being truly authentic to who I am. Like, it's definitely not any try hard energy. It's just like, this is just what it is and that's what we're vibing on today. I love this part of the book. So after you complete your journal entry, before you get to like the last segment where you do like your goals, it asks like, what's your daily, what's today's happy hour? And for the longest, happy hour has always been associated with like discounted pricing for food and drinks. And now it's giving me like a new meaning for like, what is your happy hour, ironically. So for me, I put my happy hours, my time at the gym, working out, um, actually pushing myself to the edge and trying to get past those limiting beliefs of fatigue. So that's definitely been my happy hour and, you know, a strong body, a strong mind. It also circles back to like being disciplined, nutrition, um, and just staying committed to the grind, no matter the outcome or the results. So as you can see, journaling's already done amazing things for me just to start off this year and, and, um, making this more of a year of like self-reflection and accountability and not so much on the aspects of like uh, external validation, which I feel very at peace about. Uh, those are my goals. That's been my mindset for journaling. And um, yeah, I'll share with you guys next week how everything's coming together because uh emotions are always changing but i'm trying not to be led by emotions discipline discipline dis discipline 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 live your life stay true to who you are don't try to impress anyone um lock in stay focused like i said my name is cash thank you for watching today's video leave a like and subscribe to the channel let's get this thing back growing and i'll see you in the next video yeah let's get it